year four. I am going to be teaching you today our first handwriting lesson since we've started home learning. So I have mentioned a few times that I would really like you to focus on making sure you're doing your cursive writing. And in this lesson, hopefully it'll make a bit more sense for the ones of you that struggle a bit with that. Um, I'll also make sure I attach some of this kind of paper, which is handwriting paper, to help you. You don't necessarily need it, just if you're lacking confidence and you need a little bit more guidance, this can be very helpful. So to start our lesson, I'm going to go through a few different letters. We're actually going to go through the first 10 letters of the alphabet, and we are going to do it in lowercase because our capital letters do not need our cursive lead-in. So I'll show you, first of all, with our A. So you always start with your pen on the line, you come up and you go round. So some of you, I might have commented on your work that I would like you to make sure that you're doing those lead-ins. The lead-ins are this bit here, where it starts at the line and then you go up and round. The reason we do that is so you can easily join your letters. It actually speeds up your writing if you get used to writing like this. Okay, so I'd just like you to do a, roll, a row of A's, just like I have. And then once you've done that, go down to your next dotted line, if you're using this kind of paper, or your next line. And to your B's. So you can see, I'm trying my hardest to always start on that line, then we come up, we go back down, we come up to the blue line, and then round. OK, take your time if you're finding this a little bit difficult. You can always pause the video. You see there on my last few, I'm doing A and B together so you can see how to join them. Right, and then we're going to go on to our letter C. So on to our next line always starts on the line and then comes up. Okay, good job. Our next one is D. Start on the line, come up to the blue, round and down. Right, now I'm going to join all of my letters together. So A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. Okay, now on to our next letter, which is an E. So sometimes E's you forget to do in cursive because quite naturally you just start your pen um, a bit higher up for an E. I'm not really sure why. I seem to do it myself as well. But it's important to practice it. So again, get your pencil or your pen on the line and then come round. Excellent. All right. Now we've done our E, we are going to move on to our next letter, which is an F. And I know that's sometimes a little bit tricky, so maybe stop and watch me do one first. OK, so start on the line. We're coming up and we're going all the way down and then back up to the line. Now we're moving on to our G. Start on the line, down, round. You can see I'm flicking it so it's coming, coming back up, ready to be joined. Okay, our last line, I'd like you to join a G and then an A. G, A, G, A. Good job, everyone. Right, we've just got a few more letters to practice. 
So we've gone A to G so far. Now we're going to do our letter H. So start on the dotted line, come up and round. I believe if you'd like to slow this down to see how I'm doing it, um, you can go into the YouTube link and actually play it at a slower speed. Okay. Uh, next letter is I, so lowercase i. So we don't do our dot until the end. And if you were doing a whole word with an I in, you wouldn't do the dot until you finish the word. So before we get to the end of our line, I would like you to write the word high, as in high up, not as in high as in hello. So we go high, H I G H. So all letters we've already practiced. I just want to see that you are doing that I, you are dotting it after you've finished the rest of your letters. Okay, just two more letters to go before we have a little look at some Spanish words. J is our next one. And just like the I, if it's going to be in a word, we do not want to dot it until the end. Okay. Excellent. Now K. It's our lowercase k. So we start on the line, we come up to the blue line, curl it round and then go back. Oh, sorry, that one's a little bit messy. Excellent. So those are all of the letters we're going to practice today. I'm going to include another video and I'll add that onto our page just below. And on that video, we're going to do some handwriting, but of some of the Spanish words you might have looked at today. So some Spanish sports. I hope that was helpful for those of you that are struggling with your cursive writing. And you can always come back to this and practice. I will be going through the other letters in another handwriting lesson later on, probably next week.